Here we're showing off the STS with the sequencer. Um, we have the Metropolis uh, by IntelliHell here, and we have the Rene by Make Noise on the side. So just basic, straightforward um, use of the sequencer would be clocking it, obviously from an external clock, and then taking gate and CV out to pitch track and trigger. So we have one channel of a QCD, master clock on the IntelliHell Metropolis, and then we have our sequence here. So if we take the gates and plug in, we should just be triggering on every high note. So we have a pretty fast pulse here. We can slow that down, speed it up. And then we can also introduce pitch information. There's some slides on there. For Portamento, we can speed it up. Change the pitches here. Just basic pitch tracking. Introduce some slides again. Pretty simple. Another nice little trick once you have this general patch already set up is since this is beat synced downstream, we can also send a gate to different parameters here and have those be time synced. So, for instance, on this one, we could do beat synced reverse. So, as this goes low and high, we experience a bar or measure of straightforward playing sample and then the same or a smaller amount of time depending on our gate, a reverse section of that sample. So something else we could do was, since we still have another channel on the STS, we could get a rhythmic element going. Let's slow down. Let's take another channel from the QCD. And we're gonna go ahead and trigger the other channel of the STS. So here we have a beat. We have length set all the way to the end, so there's actually more sample to be played, but we're re-triggering here with a QCD. So we're actually manually triggering this loop, and it is, based on the timing, coming back around as a perceived loop. What I mean by that is we're down here on divide by eight as a trigger. We could maybe do a break, speed things up, and then come back around. So here we have the same patch set up with a QCD as the master clock, the metropolis generating gate uh, information is triggering the left channel here, and then we have another channel of the QCD triggering the right channel. So another thing besides just pitch tracking is we could start to use the same CV information on the 8th step uh, for sample CV selection. So instead of pitch information, we can go right in here. So essentially every time a gate goes high, we could reselect a new sample. And the same thing, we could take the information, the CV information from the Metropolis and go to the next channel. So now we have the one that stab there, we can maybe have it come around to a hi-hat and back. Now we have a kick. Maybe we want to go to something else in the next one. Got a hat, back to a kick. So now we have a new vocal phrase, basically just from tweaking these CV outs from the Metropolis. So as you can see, there's lots of different sounds we can get from just one simple CV source in the STS.